Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Corlick from Figure It Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and welcome to Playlow. This is all my video game pickups for the month of October 2020. And this is almost entirely an all-package episode. Um, except for one small thing, which we'll start off in a second. And then next month, I'm sure, will be the craziness of next-gen consoles. Assuming I'm able to get both, I'm trying. But <laughs> we'll deal with that next month, won't we? This month, though, we got a bunch of cool stuff. The first thing up, just a random little item that I stumbled across, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know if you've been watching my channel for any time recently, uh, my mother passed away this summer, so one of the things I've had to do was kind of go through her house and just kind of start clearing things out and all that. And uh, I stumbled across something that was very bizarre. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it. It was this. <laughs> this is a Titanic-themed blockbuster $5 gift card. Still sealed, unused. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't really have anything to do with video games, but I know people who watch this channel really like blockbuster stuff, so I thought it was bizarre. I thought you guys would get a kick out of it, but that's really all that is. So, moving on, though. We'll, we'll start talking about the actual video game stuff. Now, the first two packages are both Shenmue-related, obviously my favorite game franchise of all time. These are both uh, remnants of the Kickstarter campaign for Shenmue 3. Uh, both of these are perks. A lot of those uh, physical rewards are actually shipping out. Uh, so these are the ones that have arrived, at least at the time I've made this video. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and open it up. The first one up here is, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it is based on the texture, uh, but yep, that's exactly what I thought. It is a t-shirt. This is the Shenmue Slacker Backer Campaign t-shirt. Um, oh, it's got this nice actual Shenmue sticker on it. I don't really want to open this. I'll have to decide later if I'm going to do that or not, but I've seen the design before. It's just a white shirt that on the front says Shenmue 3, we saved Shenmue, and then on the back it has the same design as the black shirt. Uh, that I've already shown in a previous video, and it just has the same artwork on it. It's just different colors, basically, than the original. So, uh, for now, I'm gonna leave this sealed, but I, I might open that up later. Um, but yeah, there you go. Very cool to, to get that. I, of course, was a Kickstarter backer on it, um, and uh, the continued perks come in. So the second one up here is also a Shenmue 3 perk. What I like about this is actually Shenmue 3 is written on the box. I like that. It's designed specifically for the game box is a little damaged but whatever uh, so we'll go ahead and open this here and show you guys the inside goodies kind of excited about this one this was one that they talked about all the way back at the beginning obviously um, we have a few different things here we have this is the Shenmu capsule toy set um, so basically I got two like options here I'm not really sure why um, I have one of these is just Rio. Uh, so, okay, to re clarify, you could, when you were backing, you had the option to get the exclusive capsule toy set. So, this, they made four potential figures. This set includes all four. So, you get uh, Rio, you get Rio with a forklift, uh, you get Chai, and you get Shenhua. Uh, a lot of people also had the option to get just one figure, and it would be completely random, like as if you're actually playing a capsule toy game. Uh, and I guess I must have done that, or it came with that. I honestly don't remember because it was like five years ago. <laughs> but um, but what I ended up getting was an extra Rio. This is uh, the the rare the quote unquote chase figure is Rio with the forklift, and this is just standard Rio where he's just kind of sitting there. So I'll take this one out for now. And uh, there you go. He just kind of sits and he's just kind of observing life and uh, you know pondering. You know, what, what is life now that his father is gone, and how do I get revenge on Lon D? And there's a lot more to Shenmue than that, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, cutesy little figure. Very cool. I'll make nice little display pieces out of it. And then it comes with this little, like, I'm not going to call this, yeah, this is nothing more than just a picture set of the options you could have gotten. But because I backed for the full thing, I actually have all of them. So very cool to have that. Um, I guess what some, well, I'll reseal that properly later, but I guess what some people were doing is, uh, I saw some people on the Facebook groups where what they were doing was they just got like four of these at random instead of the actual set, and so now they're trying to trade and see if they can make full sets, and I'm thinking like, maybe it wasn't an option to buy this retroactively, maybe this was part of the Slacker Backer campaign, I legit do not even remember, like we're talking about stuff that happened like five years ago, so whatever, um, but either way, very cool to have the full set there. Uh, moving on though, away from the Shenmue stuff, um, what we have up here is a few more packages. This one comes uh, from Mike Chi, he's the guy who makes the Retro Tink line, so you can probably get a bit of a guess as to what's going to be in here. Uh, we'll do a very basic uh, rundown of this device, but this is, I'm just going to keep it real with you, this is something that's going to get its own video later on, so I'll just kind of do the elevator pitch version. Uh, but inside, what we have here is 
a USB cable, uh, some paperwork from Mike about this. Uh, this is like, well, this is a sticker that says Retro Tank and it shows his logo with the, what looks like two bunnies. And then it comes with a little card that says, thank you so much for your purchase and support. Congratulations, you now own a Retro Tank 2X Mo Pro Multi uh, Format, a zero lag upscaler for your retro console. To get started, plug it, well, it just comes with a description, but yeah, that's what it is. It's a Retro Tank 2, uh, 2XM, as it's being shorthanded to. Um, it is it is what it says, or Mike says it is in the description. It's a little box. Basically, uh, you take component signals as your input, and they output HDMI. Uh, I've done several videos on the Retro Tank line, but this one is different because of the resolution options it supports as input, making it, honestly, a lot more useful. So I'm looking forward to doing a full review of this to make sure I can, uh, you know, approve of it, but I'm I'm sure it's solid so I look forward to talking about that but again that'll be in its own future video so thank you very much for Mike to Mike for sending that along um, next up we have another uh, device here that comes all the way from the UK uh, this comes specifically from retrotowers.co.uk this was also sent to me uh, and we'll be getting its own video so again we'll just be kind of doing the elevator pitch version of things but uh, let me open it up and then show you guys the fact that this thing exists um, I'm not gonna lie bizarre I couldn't really believe it but uh, we'll take a look here. Ugh, okay. Inside, well, what is this like taped onto the box? Let's take a look here. Okay, get rid of the box there. What we have is something from Retro HQ, and you might know that name, possibly. If I can get through this, I don't have scissors on hand. So I'm going to, I can't take this out of the package at the moment, I don't think. But what I can do is at least get this tape off of it. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Uh, no, I don't think this is happening. I don't have scissors anywhere near me. Maybe, uh, can this thing cut through it? Let's find out. Ah, uh, it's doing it, it's doing it. Okay, never mind. We're, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Alright, inside, from Retro HQ, and more specifically from RetroTowers.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check them out. I'll also put a link to uh, Mike's website for the Retro Tank as well. Um, what we have here is the Lynx GD, uh, GD Game Drive, or just Game Drive, from Retro HQ. Now, you might be like, wait, what? This is a flash card for the Atari Lynx portable device. I mean, that's the point we're at with flash cards now, is they actually have them for something as obscure as the Atari Lynx, which is very cool. I don't think I've ever done any sort of video on the Atari Lynx. You probably didn't even know I had an Atari Lynx. But at some point, I'm going to basically get set up for this, and uh, I'll do a video about this particular device. And um, in short, flash card, again, for the Atari Lynx. So in concept, you can play every single game ever made for the Atari Lynx on one singular cartridge. But uh, yeah, once again, that will get its own video. So thank you very much to RetroTowers.co.uk. Uh, next up here, we have another little device. This one is kind of an oddity, because um, I really was not expecting this. You guys might remember earlier this month, I did a video about, uh, it was a long requested video that people had um, been asking for, which was, how do you rip your game discs? Uh, like, I, you know, basically anytime I get a disc of any kind for a, for a console, I do my best to back the data up onto a computer. I do that not only to back up the actual data in the event that the data could be you know, somewhat useful later, but also just to verify the disk integrity because disks are old, they break easily, they get scratches, whatever. And if a computer can read it all the way through, then you know your investment or your product, whatever you want to think of it as, what you bought, you know it's not defective. Um, so I just did a whole video talking about that process for most consoles throughout history. And that, I really wasn't expecting anything to come from that. But I was contacted by someone who is giving me the alias just Bruce. I know his actual name, he doesn't want me to say it, but he's going by Bruce. Anyway, Bruce contacted me and he said, hey man, I got something that might actually help you along in that process, so I'm just going to send it your way. So he did, and let's go ahead and take a look at it, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, if I can get it open more easily. Okay. Work through, and... Yeah, there we go. Get that out of the way. It is a disk drive. That should have been, I guess, somewhat obvious. But this one is a tad specific. This is, if I can get through there, it may not look all that assuming. It just looks like an old DVD-ROM drive, and that is, in fact, what it is, but it's somewhat specific. This is the model GDR-8164B. This is the disk drive that allows you to rip GameCube and Wii games. Now, I actually have one of these. I showed it in that video. Um, and a bunch of people were asking, like, you know, how do I get one of those, whatever. I tried to provide a link, but the truth is this drive is long since gone. 
Um, so that was kind of as far as I, you know, <laughs> there wasn't anything that was going to come of it for me. But uh, but Bruce said, hey, man, I got a spare one of those laying around. I didn't even really realize that's what it was. And I looked at the model number and he showed me a picture of it. And he's like, if you want, you can just have it because I, I truly have no use for this thing. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a good home for future archiving in case my drive dies, which to be fair, the one I have, the disk drive is starting to give out a little bit, like the actual tray, the laser part still functions well, but it's always nice to have a backup, I suppose. So yeah, thank you very much for doing that. That helps with future preservation and archiving. So very awesome of you to do that, Bruce. Um, and we'll be talking about Bruce a little bit in a future video, but we'll get to that at the time. Now, we're actually all the way down to the last thing here. This one is odd. Um, and it, it was something I definitely splurged on and you'll probably think I'm really dumb for doing it and you're not wrong, but, but, uh, so this one goes back a ways. Like I ordered this back in maybe August, like, and it, it only finally got, it got here. So I was hanging around on my discord surprise. I have a discord. If you don't know, it's in the, there's a link in the description, go in there, join it and hang out with everybody. It's completely free. Um, but if you go in there. And a lot of people were chatting, and there was this guy I was chatting with named Wubio. Now, Wubio is a nice guy. He's been hooking me up from time to time with, like, you know, he, sh he shows up and supports the podcast, that type of thing. But uh, in this case, he had just decided to kind of splurge on some random stuff because he saw some of my videos. And one of the things he decided to buy, for some reason, was an Apple Pippin. Apple's ill-fated one and only attempt at a game console, which he kind of blamed on me because I had made a video about it, and I make jokes about it all the time. Um, but he was like, what kind of games can I get for this? I'm like, dude, buying games for the Apple Pippin is like borderline impossible. Like you never find them. Um, and then he started showing me some eBay links and he's like, yeah, man, there's like a bunch here. And I think I'm gonna get a couple of those. And I was like, you do you, man. Um, randomly, like the, there was a lot up there at the time and I was surprised. There was like one Australian guy that I guess had a bunch of them and he was just kind of purging them. Um, now keep in mind the Apple Pippin really doesn't have much on it worth playing. Um, and the, like the, the only games on it I would actually want to own, like it, for the purpose of playing are like not even remotely attainable. Um, so at best, all you can do is find some shovelware and like the, all the times I've been in Japan, I've only ever found two games for it. Like it's just a console you find no material for. Um, but this dude in Australia had a bunch for some reason. So I was kind of on the fence. I was thinking like, do I really want to spend any money on this? Not so much. And then out of nowhere, like a day later, I get an email from eBay that says, hey, you've been with us for 25 years, which instantly made me feel really old. Because I guess when I was a kid, I made my eBay account and I've been using the same one for 25 years. So they sent me like a $25 gift card thing and they're like, it expires in 30 days. And I was like, idea. <laughs> so I went ahead and I checked out the eBay listings again. The, the Australian dude had these two games. Neither of them are particularly exciting, to be completely honest, but he was, I think he was only asking like $50 US plus shipping. So I was like, I could put in this code right now and get two new Apple Pippin games for half off. Fine. And so I did it. And just because it's coming from Australia, it just took a long time to get here. But now that it's here, I can go ahead and we can take a look at the contents inside. And as I said, it is two Apple Pippin games. Yes, I really got Apple Pippin games. So let's take a look because I'm excited because you never really get a chance to see new Apple Pippin games. But um, here it is. This is this first one called I Have Absolutely No Idea. I'm going to have to go ahead and get that translated because I really don't know. But yes, that is an Apple Pippin game. Let's take this piece of uh, masking tape off. And it looks like some sort of interactive... Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Hilarious. I'm looking at the artwork and I'm thinking, oh, it's like there's somewhere in, you know, Paris or something. And I, I just noticed this at the bottom. It says it's, it's called Voyager with open eyes images from the Art Institute of Chicago. I live in Chicago. In fact, the Art Institute is like over there. <laughs> it's not far away from me. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I did not, but I swear to you that that picture on the front that is not Chicago. I'm telling you that right now. That's not Chicago. But I guess that's just a painting, and these are supposed to be people looking at the painting. Okay, that makes a little more sense. But I gotta admit that's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, so there there it is. Um, the game and Apple Pippin cases are fragile, but they're actually surprisingly decent. You know, there's your disc. It's just a CD-ROM, which actually I have to go back up after this, so I'll be using it, not this drive, but a drive very similar to it, um, to go ahead and do that. But uh, very cool. 
and I'll get you a, a, the actual name of this in a bit. I don't. I'll put it on the screen. Um, and then so we have one other here, also Apple Pippin game. Now I didn't pick these two games like separately. The guy just had these in a lot together because basically they're both just like learning, you know, educational type of games. Nothing particularly exciting or good. Um, but you know, the truth is with the Apple Pippin, like this is the best you're gonna get. Like there's just there's not. There's just not many titles out there. And again, the ones that I would really want, like the, there's a Power Rangers Zeo game, I'd love to have that. And then there's like a Marathon collection, uh, which was the guys, Bungie made that right before they made Halo. Some people argue it's like the precursor to Halo is on the Apple Pippin. But like getting an actual original copy of it's like impossible. The other one here is Music Land something Carnival of the Animals. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna just kick ass. But, uh, you know, <laughs> let's take a look here. And uh, this one, the case is a little broken, that's fine. And then the manual, and then we have the, this piece of tape over there. Kudos to the guy in Australia for taking basically good care of these. He definitely, you know, put them together the right way for shipping purposes. But there you go. And uh, so I will reassemble that. The artwork on the back, the inlay is on backwards. I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix that. But um, regardless, there you go. I got a couple of brand new Apple Pippin games. Awesome! A console I, I talk about surprisingly more than anyone else on the entire planet um, that I actually got a couple of games for. So now I've doubled, that literally doubles my entire Apple Pippin library. Um, so that'll about do it. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I want to thank um, I want to thank Bruce very much for this. I want to thank uh, Mike. I want to thank um, uh, uh, RetroTowers.co.uk and of course the Shenmue 3 campaign. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you please like, comment, subscribe, check out all the social media stuff in the description. You know, go to the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Patreon, what have you. I appreciate that as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you all later.